Quarterfinal 3 is up next. You've had two group winners win their quarterfinal so far, which are the group winners of Group A and C. Now let's see if the winner from Group B, Gaming X, can win their match against the person that most of us thought would win Group A in Rosalina. Someone who in the first two matches that they had never needed their Rayquaza, but when they did, they lost. Will that happen again? Both of the team, these teams, interestingly, have a Fione on their team. Gaming has it as their fifth Pokemon, Rosalina as their fourth. So it's, in a sense, a Fione mirror match. Peaceful air is now turning bunch of bugs to start us off in Sunny Park Coliseum. Out of the bugs, Homie's the fastest. The blue corner makes the first Hydro Cannon to start us off on Wurmple. Big hit. And then Dark Void, are you kidding me? Gaming, what a start! Both Cascoon and Wurmple unable to attack. One of them already on half HP. Sure, Combi has to skip a turn, but that's an amazing start for gaming. With the base stat totals of Rosalina being stronger at the end and weaker at the start, for gaming to have a good chance to win, they need to take the lead early, and this is an amazing start. Wurmple does immediately wake up, though. Well, not immediately, it's a second turn. Mean luck! Oh no, the opponents can't switch manually, which isn't gonna happen in this turn anyway, because that's against the rules. I'd like to ask your opinion, everyone, because I'm really enjoying this Metronome tournament, and I am considering... While Poison Tail comes from a Pokemon without a tail... Well, not a lot in this tournament makes sense. I'm considering doing another Metron tournament after this. Not immediately after this. Um, probably like a month or two break at least before the next one comes out. Uh, and that is a month or two from when this tournament ends on YouTube. I want more Pokemon variety. I want more move variety. So the later the generation, the better. The last game that I can most easily stream, but also edit the files of to allow me to give any Pokemon metronome, is Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I have understood, although I haven't tested it out myself yet, that there is a way to battle yourself on an emulated Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. If I can manage to do that, would you like to see Metronome Tournament 3 on Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? Some of the animations will look very different, and I really like the way the animations are here, and the way you can choose different arenas. I don't even remember if that's even a thing you can do in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, choosing different arenas. I'll have to see. Um, but maybe through like a little bit of, I don't know, I wouldn't say hacking, but... Affecting the game files, I can? I don't know. But would you like to see Metro Tournament, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon? With more than 493 Pokemon available. Way more, and also a lot more cool moves. I think it would be really fun because a bigger variety in Pokemon I think would be fun. And especially the much bigger variety in moves that are possible. Sure, we're still going to see a Tackle or a Hydro Cannon. And Imprison is still going to be a huge move. But there's a lot more possibilities, and I think I would really like to see that. And yes, indeed, gaming, you did take that early lead that I did say you needed. Swift from Comey. You're dealing good damage. Critical on Apom.
Yeah, it's gonna leave Storm, but that's very resisted by Combi, so. Halt special attack on Cascoon now. For not a lot of damage. Apom, what can you do for Rosalina? Payback. Hey, Decent damage. Especially in the Combi. That should do this quite a bit. Combi now. Tries the sheer cold for a one shot. Unfortunately, misses this one. That's only a 30% chance. Dive for Skorupi. And then Kaskun fires off a dizzy punch on Combi. Realizing the special attacks aren't a good idea and attacking Skorupi isn't a good idea because it's under the water. Another case of. Metro bottles usually don't make a lot of sense, because how in the world is that thing underwater? There is no water here. Whirlpool and a dive Pokemon, though. We don't get to see that much. It hits. Alright, Cascoon doesn't just have its physical attack lowered, and its, oh, its special attack one, now also its physical. Skorupi attack the Apom. It's probably good to attack the Apom because it has higher base stats than Cascoon, and Cascoon has its both attacking stats lowered. Punishment would deal bigger damage if there were increases in stats. There are very much decreases in stats. I don't think that lowers the power of the move, but it doesn't help, obviously, because the lowered attack stat. I remember once using a Sneasel at punishment. Grass, not another grass move on Combi that doesn't do much. Combi stays alive and fires back with... Aeroblast, that stab! Alright, that's looking very good for gaming, really nice start. Blaziken and Apom as well. That's a 6-4 lead, and they're taking out the Pokemon that can hit harder by its, by its base stat totals already. By its base stats. And the thing that can not hit as hard, that even has its attacks halved on both sides, is still in. That is a very good strategy by gaming's Pokemon. Focus on the thing that isn't Cascoon. Allow Rosaline to only hit hard with one of their Pokemon. The blue corner currently leads. Can they end this quickly? Out of the four people that were in Metro Tournament 1 that are also in number two. Only one made it to top cut, which is Damien, and Damien landed in the quarterfinals, didn't make it farther. Three of us made it to the quarterfinals this time, which is already an improvement, and Damien improved on his quarterfinals. So nice job for them. Only Renz, now Mr. Torque in this tournament, stayed fourth in their group just like last time, unfortunate for them. Gaming. You already basically met your goal by making it to top cut, but can you make it to the end of the tournament? Cascoon. Tackle, uh, that would have done a lot. Well, both corners I'm about to lose what I'm in Mon here, maybe. Well, let's find out. What's Fiona gonna do? That's a Dark Pulse. Dark pulse hit. Big damage to Scorpio. Skorupi down. And while this is going on, I'm going to take a look at how many people predicted gaming to win against Rosalina. So we have a Rosalina, we have a gaming. We have a Rosalina, a Rosalina, a Rosalina, and a gaming. Two predicted gaming, four predicted Rosalina. An impressive move. And one of those predictions predicted gaming to be the champion, and one of them predicted Rosalina to be the champion, so... <laughs> That's interesting. Lead still 5-4. to four. Gaming's favor. They have a really low health combi by this point. Fiona's focusing on the bigger one, the Bayleaf. Maybe it'd be a good idea to have Casco and take out that final hit on Combi. This game is still gonna focus on the Fione. 
Overheat. No, they decided Cascoon, you can be good. You can go now. It's 5-3. But that means Rosalina now has two big Pokemon on the field, including a Pokemon, Heatran, that in terms of base out totals is stronger than any Pokemon gaming has on their team, even their Ace Mesprit. Here comes Heatran. Rosalina, in the past, once you sent out Rayquaza, you lost that match. Can you take out five of Gaming's Pokemon? Which is Fiona and Heatran. Let's see. They leave Rock Slide. It misses Heatran, hits Fiona. Will that be a flinch? No, it will not. Fiona gets a turn. Double team. The higher the base out totals of the Pokemon, especially the higher the defenses, the more double team will probably get into play. Swift V trend. Bit of damage to Bayleaf. Combi's down. It's down and out. Combi did a lot in this fight. The game can be very proud of it. East Sea Gastrodon. Is up is next. The move fails. Defense rolls. <laughs> Gaming saying, Gaston, can you do me a solid and use Earthquake? Mm, maybe not right now. Here's knockoff. A small hit. Hey, Amos, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. The mood in the Coliseum has become somewhat yeah, Earthquake would be really nice here. Bailey resists it. Fiona takes decent damage because it is still just. An Earthquake from a ground type, and then Heatran would just it's go down. And the stat changes are about to be swapped. <gasps> no, Rosalina, what are you doing? What are your big ones? Oh, gaming's loving this. Rosalina went from domination and easily being the first to qualify to losing twice again it's not over it's a metronome fight but it's four to two Rayquaza and Heechan though are the two Pokemon that outperform all of Gaten's Pokemon base stats but there's still two Pokemon behind Toxic on Bayleaf if Toxic happens on Rayquaza then that's huge if Earthquake happens if Blizzard happens and hits Rayquaza, anything like that will be huge. Growl. Only the attacks that of the Heatran. And I think Rayquaza too, right? Yeah. At this one, gaming can... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for here? It's probably okay for him to go with some stat lowering. Because he has as big of a lead as he does. And even though this is a Fiona mirror match, we'll never see the two Fiona against each other. Head smash, that is big, but it misses... I think Hatsmart is either 90 or 80% accurate, that didn't work. Yes, I almost I do watch the Pokemon anime. I absolutely loved um, episode for Friday. And for those watching this as a YouTube video later, I'm streaming this on the 15th of November. So the most recent episode that aired for me right now is Ash vs. Leon. The, f the final one. I know there's only three episodes of the Pokemon anime remaining, and by the time this goes up on YouTube, pretty sure the Pokemon Journeys anime, the Gen 8 anime, will have ended. I don't know what's happening with the Project Mew stuff yet, because at the time of streaming, this is it hasn't aired.
Galaxy Ryu. Mega Drain on the Gastrodon. That's good damage. We haven't gotten to see much of this Rayquaza at all because it didn't get sent out in the first two matches. The third match, it didn't stay around for too long. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum. Luck. Just little bits and little bits of damage on that Heatran. It's taking a while, but every bit counts, and gaming still leads 4 to 2. Toxic well, damage is adding up. Still have a chance to win this. Who's going to take Almost, the yes, I just mentioned that I watched that episode. If you're asking a question, please actually listen to the answer. Also, I don't really like the question, the way you're asking it. Because if the answer is yes, then okay, it's yes. But if the answer is no, then you just spoil it. So please be careful in the way you ask questions like that. Yes, I watched it. Rayquaza's found the big move button. Not the huge move button, but the big move button. Earthquake! Not from Gaston, but from Bayleaf. Hits Heatran really hard. Doesn't affect Rayquaza. Doesn't quite take out Gastrodon. But it's huge considering the damage on Heatran. Gaming's probably smiling here. Judgment! An exhausting battle between both sides. Oh, if only that was an ice type judgment. Hey Dylan, welcome to the stream. Yo, Alka, I missed the very old days where you did deck requests for Yu-Gi-Oh, man. I feel like a kid again. Ha, <laughs> yeah. I did that quite a long time. Yeah. On, um... Dueling Network, Dueling Book at some point as well, because then I lost touch with the meta and I didn't really want to do it as much. And even though I did do still like Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm still, like, playing stuff with it. I'm still working on a project that, I'll admit, often I forget about, so I'm still not very far with it. Not as far as I would have liked. Well, Gaston and Bailey were down, wow. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! I haven't forgotten it. I still like it. I still play it. There's not main meta anymore. I've lost touch with it and with how big all the combos are and how long the turns can take in Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't like the current state of the game. I still enjoy the game, but you'll see in the series that I'm working on, it'll be sure some big combo decks, but a lot of slower pace stuff, like GX era pace, maybe early 5Ds era. My favorite was when you did a deck request for rank 10 XCs in Photon. You know, I did a lot of decks that were really fun to make. Yeah, if cards were a lot easier to get on Master Duel, I'd do more deck requests on Master Duel. Rayquaza goes to normal type? Well, Heatran's out. Heat Wave. Does that act for No, it doesn't actually flash fire in Heatran, because it's away. Bit of damage on Galaxy do. Is that gonna be burn? No. It's two against two, so any big move can end it. Ooh, there's a Brave Bird. That's a big move. Galaxy Ryu and Heatran both on low health, but they are still alive. They are alive. Advantage still gaming, but with two Pokemon remaining, at this point, it's a lot scarier. Especially if that Shadow Force is aimed at Mesprit. It's not. That would have been a near KO, I think, if it would have been on Mesprit. Each other requires to go first. What can they do? Sand attack. Hoping for misses by Fiona. Are they going to try and take a Mesprit first then? Luster Purge. That's a stab psychic move. Takes out Rayquaza. And the low HP Heatrat is the only one remaining. Fiona still gets to attack this turn. Is the third group winner. Gonna make it to the semis. Ice Grip. Tiny bit of damage on Heatran again. An exhausting battle between we have so sides. many tiny hits. Including things like Knock Off and... I think it was... The rest is up the Assurance. Payback. 
Now this, and then the one earthquake for the major damage. If you don't mind me asking, what do you do for a living? I was in the Netherlands four months ago, amazing country. I'm happy you liked it, that's nice to hear. Um, for a living, I work at an arcade. I work at an arcade in Amsterdam. I've, been, I've worked there for two and a half months, just over two and a half months now, while Spark takes out Petron, gaming to the next round. Rosalina was so dominant in their first two matches. Because of that, qualified early for the quarterfinals, but then lose once and you're done for Rosalina knocked out. 2 0 win after we've already seen a 3 0 and a 2 0 in the other quarterfinals. Gaming, you move on. Another step. You move to. The semi-finals, where you will face either the winner of Group D in tenor, or the second place person from Group C in Jared.